name is Ryan. I'm the co-founder of a project called Foam. Uh, it's a blockchain protocol uh, specifically for spatial uh, standards and location verification services. Uh, we have an idea to do proof of location, so a way to actually come to consensus on where things have been uh, with an alternative decentralized GPS. But we have a lot of uh, applications to part of the project, uh, and we're building many different elements. Uh, so the project is really in three different elements. Uh, one is on uh, location encoding, so how do we actually encode location information in blockchain data? And with that, we have something called a crypto spatial coordinate. Uh, we have visualizer tools, so if you encode blockchain information that way, how do you actually interact with it on a front end? And this is something we call the spatial index. And ultimately, we want to know, are these things where they say they are? And that's proof of location. Uh, and this is a horizontal open source protocol uh, that's free to use. Uh, you actually have to provide work uh, to contribute to it, similar to something like Bitcoin. And we see it being uh, affecting many kinds of verticals, like mobility, supply chain, uh, Internet of Things. And we're working with many kind of enterprise and decentralized projects in that domain. Uh, so the first element, the crypto spatial coordinate, the problem is there is no location standards whatsoever in blockchain. So we're the first to bring it there. Um, we want this to be an open and interoperable standard uh, for smart contracts. So for example, we want to have a contract that represents a place and be able to encode its location in a simple and human readable way. Uh, most people think location is a solved problem. That's because we all have postal addresses. But there are billions of people in the world who don't have any address whatsoever, and billions of more square meters of land that don't have a postal address either. So it's a big logistics delivery problem, humanitarian problem. And companies are trying to solve it. Uh, one like what three words gives any three words to an address. The problem is uh, they charge a licensing fee, and it's centralized. And so this is not really compatible with something that's open source and free to use, like blockchain. Uh, so we came up with our own standard for blockchains. It's called the Crypto Spatial Coordinate. It's a way to encode a geohash uh, with a smart contract address. So blockchains are immutable. You can't change the data. So here you can make an immutable claim to a location and be able to index it in a way that's shared. Um, and that's just an open standard that smart contracts can inherit, whether it's representing an IoT device or in supply chain. And so really, we're trying to introduce a new spatial dimension to blockchain technology. I know it's a big buzzword a lot of people have heard about. Uh, but we feel if it's really going to eat the world, uh, we need actually a way to reason about space and uh, location uh, in this technology. So that's what Foam is trying to bring. Uh, and so the next element of the project is the full stack visualizer called the spatial index. We like to think of the spatial index as a cross between a Bloomberg terminal and a Google Maps. So if blockchain is about finance, finance and Foam is about space, here in the spatial index you can see these transactions on the blockchain in a spatial way. Uh, it's built with a full stack web app on a functional programming tools, uh, as well as Mapbox and Uber tools in the React web app. And that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, all the points you see are actually points uh, blockchain data, but because it uses our standards, you can visualize it this way. Uh, and it's completely general purpose, so we have a developer portal and API that decentralized uh, developers can take this uh, technology and implement front end mapping tools, whether they're uh, making a Pokemon Go game or a supply chain. We're working with across the board. Uh, and you can build different apps based off that. But ultimately, what we want to know is what we see in the spatial index, is it actually where it says it is? And that's what proof of location is. And I'm going to try and uh, cram the rest in in these two minutes. But we want to. Um, Basically, consensus on whether an event or agent has been verifiably where it says it is. Uh, we're solving this through synchronized clocks and triangulation with low power wide area network technology, as well as crypto economic incentives. So this technology already exists today, time synchronization, low power radio, but we want to provide the incentives for people to run this hardware and set it up. Um, and so as we know, GPS currently works. You need four overhead, uh, X, Y, and Z, and a fourth for time. Sometimes it takes your phone a few seconds to actually I figure it out. Uh, ours would work in the same way where you have low power radio devices around the city and at least four can form what we call a zone. So you have these beacons, uh, people are incentivized to run them in their home because they can earn money. They can synchronize with each other, their clocks, and form what we call a zone of coverage. Uh, this is a new kind of class of radio that's only a few years old uh, that for IoT devices where you have long range and lo long battery life. Uh, specifically, we're working with a radio called the LoRa. Uh, which is permissionless to deploy, so you don't need to pay a licensing fee to the manufacturer. So that's really exciting in a permissionless environment like blockchain. Um, just some visuals of how kind of triangulations work. Uh, but these LoRa devices are actually set up in New York today. There's 13 nodes running. And in other cities, such as Zurich, there's over 1,000 nodes. So these are just hobbyist enthusiasts running this technology for open source projects. So we see them as kind of one of the first infrastructure uh, providers for foam. And once you have these kind of zones set up, then customers, for whether they're in a mo mobility like in Uber or in supply chain, those applications can say, hey, you must prove you are where you said you are. You must buy what we call a presence claim, 
uh, from this zone. So the GPS, it's not interactive. You can't speak back to it and produce a proof of where you've been. So it's great to figure out where you are, but we want to share your information. No one can necessarily trust you. And if you're operating in a trustless environment like blockchain, they need a way to verify that data. So we're really this horizontal infrastructure solution uh, for what we see to be many different verticals that will be integrating with this autonomous technology. Uh, the entire system is driven by a cryptographic token. It's almost like a game, so you can earn more tokens the more work you provide, and that's kind of how it's secured. Uh, what we're launching with next month is called static proof of location. So not things that move around, but points on the map. So users will be able to curate points of interest. Uh, you can add new points to the map, as well as challenge points that you don't think belong there uh, to curate it, and you can win tokens in that way. And really, this alternative to GPS is, will be a security upgrade. And uh, our mission is to build a consensus-driven map of the world, uh, which is a single source of truth that anyone can rely on. Um, we're kind of this middle layer uh, protocol above blockchain and below applications. Uh, we have a growing team, and we're based in the Brooklyn Navy Yard at the New Lab, a really exciting facility for innovative technology. Um, so thank you all so much.